Hello Webby dear, and welcome to our draft breakdown for season 1 of the PDL, the Pokemon Draft League, aka the most creatively named draft league on the internet. So, as you may know, I was in, I'm in this other draft league called the XPDLA, I'm having so much fun in that league right now, we've won 0-3 in our first 3 weeks, but one of the people in that league dropped out and started their own league, and I was invited to join that league. I was so excited because I want to make friends and connections throughout draft league, and now I get to join this other league too. So I have a new draft of, this time only 11 Pokemon and a Z Crystal, so that's interesting, I'm only allowed to use one Z Crystal for the entire league, drafted a really bad Z Crystal, spoiler alert. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and break down our picks for our draft this season. I'll try to make this as interesting and vibrant as possible, some of you may not have been sick the past week, or well, the past multiple weeks, but I'm feeling a little bit better today, I was really nauseous this morning, but I'm starting to feel better now. So anyway, we're going to jump in and begin this draft breakdown, because I don't have much time and I don't want to have to record this multiple times. So our first Pokemon that we drafted, my big mistake in the XPDLA was I didn't draft a good fairy. So I went for the best of the best when it comes to fairies. The fairies that dominate all other fairies. The fa Most I just didn't want to fight this Pokemon to be honest. Clefable! Clefable is insanely bulky. It can take hits on pretty much anything apart from steel types. <coughs> Still sick, sorry. <clears throat> and it's can hit very very hard as well. It's <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it is a very bulky fairy type, and I wanted to build a fairy dragon steel core. That was my main plan when doing it, and I got a really good fairy dragon steel core that I'm very happy with. Don't have a name for Clefable yet, but Clefable is going to be a very bulky member of the team that can I, I can bring most weeks, and I'm very very happy that I managed to get it. So our second pick for a Pokemon that I chose, I'm just going to cross off Clefable above on the list, I'm trying to do these as close to order as possible, was Dragonite. So Dragonite is another very good Pokemon, it helps at expanding our Fairy Dragon Steel core, it hits really really hard with things like Inner Focus and Multi Scale, meaning that it can't be hit with a super effective move first turn if it has full HP, so as long as we don't have rocks up, we'll do be doing really well. Dragonite can do a lot of damage in flying, fire, fighting, ice, thunder, and dragon type moves. It has a really wide move pool, and it's a pseudo le legendary, obviously. I used some of my extra points for this, so I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't know how to talk about this Pokemon competitively because I've only been in two draft leagues and I'm yet to win a game. So, but Dragonite, I'm very happy to have Dragonite. It's a great Generation 1 Pokemon. We kind of have an exclusive Region 1 Pokemon team so far, but don't worry, that's going to change with our next pick. Ending off our Fairy Dragon Steel Core is Ferrothorn. I was so shocked to see this Pokemon was still available. I had to go over for the team. This Ferrothorn is one of, if not the best, hazard removal in all of Draft League. It takes hits from anything excluding fire types. And because we have Dragonite on the team, we don't need to worry about fire types. Um, Ferrothorn does so, doesn't do much damage on its own, but it can set up spikes, rocks. I wish we can also set up Toxic Spikes, right? No, it cannot. But it can do Knock Off, Leech Seed, it can really whittle away at the opposing team. It doesn't do a lot of damage itself, but it's a great support Pokemon to work with a lot of other Pokemon. So, let me cross off a few more Pokemon from the list. Next up, I wanted to choose a Mega Pokemon. And I wanted a Mega Pokemon that not very many people always go for. I've drafted Moltres in the, my last league. And not very many people go for Moltres, I also drafted Mega Ordino. No one goes for Mega Ordino, yet to bring that to a game. But this time, I've got, drafted Mega Beedrill. Because I knew I needed a poison type, I took some advice from the people who ranked how well my draft had gone last time. Mega Beedrill does a lot as a good poison type. It may not be the best Pokemon overall, but it hits incredibly fast and incredibly hard. Flies like a bumble. Flies like a butterfly, stings like a bee. It can do a lot of damage, as long as you don't have it against the rock type, you can pretty much win almost any one-on-one -on -one matchup. So I'm very glad that we've got Mega Vigil, hopefully we'll be able to bring it to a lot of games. I'm basing a lot of my drafts I've done recently after a drives P4G team, because he drafted Moltres and Vigil in that, but Vigil is just a very good Pokemon in its own right, and I'm very glad to have it added to the team. So, next up, I drafted another fairy. You can never have too many fairies. I drafted Primarina. 
Premium Unit is my favourite Lola Sard, not the only reason I drafted them though. Premium Unit had the water typing, which I didn't have, so I was starting to try to build a fire water grass core. Did not succeed in that, not gonna lie. But Premium Unit does a lot when it comes to water type moves, it can heal other Pokemon, I'm pretty sure it gets Heal Bell. Not wrong thing. No, it does not get Heal Bell. But it can do good things with moves and English correctly. Hopefully, so at this point in the draft, this draft went really, really quick. I had a wheel pick, so I got a lot of duplicate types, and you're going to see that. So, my next pick was Shaman Normal. Shaman Normal is a really good Pokemon. It's a grass type, so I have that covered on the team now, and it can hit really, really hard with, it has, as you can look at its stats here, it has 100 across the board, which is really, really good. So it can be a speedy, it can be defensive, it can be offensive, it can be a setup, it can be support. Shaman has a lot of different things that it can do. It's kind of like Beta Mew. Mew is better, but Shaman can also handle itself on the battlefield. So I'm very glad to have grabbed Shaman on the team because it's just a very good bulky grass type. And Sea Flare decimates anyone. So our next Mon that we chose was another grass type. As I told you, I was not very good with how I set up this team. Broton Mo, another Pokemon that gets hazard removal with Defog. It also is a very good electric type. The only electric type I grabbed, so I'm going to be careful with how I use Broton Mo. It can do a lot of damage using cross type moves or electric type moves, and it's not that fast. It mostly relies on its special attack, so Leaf Storm to do a lot of damage, but definitely a Pokemon that you can rely on in the battlefield. And one that I really, really like. Rotom is also one of my favourite Pokemon of all time, which is the main reason I grabbed them. Next up was our Toxicroak. Some of you may know that I wanted to grab Toxicroak in our last league, was sniped, so I grabbed Toxicroak this time, accidentally doubled up on Poison, but Fighting is another very good type. I think the only main type that I was missing this league was Psychic. You want to get a Poison, Psychic, Fire, Water, Grass, um, Fairy Dragon Steel and Dark type. Oh, I also forgot Dark type. <sighs> That's not great. That's not great at all. But anyway, I have a lot of wide range of mons, so we should be able to do pretty well in this league. Toxic Croak can do a lot of damage. It's very good at attack. I'm kind of saying the same things for every Pokemon, but I dropped this Pokemon just because I really, really wanted to use it, and I think Toxic Croak's a cool Pokemon. Next up was more hazard removal. So, I forgot that I drafted, um, that I had already drafted a hazard removal, so I got Avalug. Avalug is incredibly bulky, really good at hazard removal. Um, if you look at its defense stat, it's insane. I mean, look look at this. 184, I'm pretty sure that's one of the highest in the game. So, glad we have Avalug on the team. Moving on, I got another ice type. So, for my last two picks in the draft, I was away on camp, so I left it to someone, I cannot remember the name, I'm very, very sorry, and asked, hey, can you just choose two Pokemon to be my last picks for the draft? And they were like, sure. So they got me Ninetales Alolan form. I had both these types already, but Ninetales Alolan form actually does a lot of really good things. It can set up Aurora Veil, it can use Blizzard and Fairy type moves, it destroys dragons, which Primina and Blue Dragon I can both struggle with because of their dragon or and or water typing. So I'm glad we have Nine Tails on the team. Can't really say much about it because I don't know much about it. But finally, the last member of the team that was drafted for me was X Ploud. Famously a not that great Pokemon in Joffrey, X Ploud can do a lot of damage with Boom Burst and Soundproof type moves. So very excited to try using it, I think x is a great Pokemon. So anyway, that's our draft for this league. Our first match will be coming up on Saturday. I hope you'll enjoy it, and I'm hoping we might even be able to get a win. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one, and ODF out. Goodbye.